thrilled to be here this evening, mainly because I don't have any sort of creative background at all. But as hopefully you'll see from the project that I've been involved with, with several other creative people, we've managed to kind of bring this um, burn to life and create creative things. So the burn starts in Lundy, um, in the Sidlaws, and runs through to Monifeath. But most of the work that we've been involved in doing has been in the communities of Douglas, Fintry, Linlathen, Kirkton, Mill of Mains, and the areas around there. So we're a community volunteering project working on the green spaces along this burn. My passion is to reconnect people to nature. So this uh, gives us a whole view of what the burn looks like, and you'll see some other images that follow. So what we do is start with people's passions and interests and try and put a twist on them to enable them to deliver practical projects that make a difference to the individuals involved, to the wider green space and the environment, and also to the communities as well. But what we tend to do is add that tinge of creativity. As you can see from all of these images, there are plenty of people involved. We work with 100 plus volunteers, and all of our ideas come from local people's ideas. And this is one from a chap who's a gas fitter up the Cleppington Road. He's passionate about geology. We enabled him to put together a leaflet, a professional leaflet, called Do You Live on a Lava Flow? Which is focusing on the geology throughout the Dickety Valley. I've got copies that I'm happy to give away. We've worked with a load of uh, filmmakers uh, producing this DVD called God Made the Dicty, not your conventional night, nice nature program, cannabis growing and deer hunting. Um, Dundee College um, folk there painting the bridges. We run a regular conservation group, remember, if you've got anybody who's interested, volunteering, not only doing wildflower meadow planting, tree, um, tree planting, but also wild food um, sessions, create, collecting a whole variety of things. We also run a lot of biological surveying sessions, surveying flooding, butterflies, squirrels, and also odd pieces of archaeology that you can find along the burn. Anything using local people's ideas. There's always a nice spin in there. We produce a lot of really good publications that I've got this evening. One is called She Feeds the Sea, a load of poems and writings about the burn. I've got a load of... Um, family activity books there as well. We've also got um, somebody else who's working with us called Nikki, who does art projects. Now this is art projects for anybody in the outdoors, using um, painting, mosaic, sculpture, little people to engage people with their natural environment, any way to bring people in and explore the area. Mosaics are our an, another key area that we've used. So we've created benches and big kind of sculptural mosaics. And the project that we're doing at the moment is six way markers along the burn, from the source to the sea. We do wacky things just because folk want to that, are enjoy, that want to do, learn about it. We've made a coracle and sailed people along the burn and tested it out near the ferry. We run dowsing courses as well that might spin off into various land healing sessions. We're also quite serious. There are no artifacts. This burn was, uh, is very, very important in Dundee's history. None of it is documented. None of the upstanding archaeology is documented. So we've recorded all the upstanding archaeology along the burn, but also monitored the graffiti as well. What I find is everywhere you go, somebody has got a story about this, this burn. I was doing a talk in Edinburgh one day and somebody said they had 60 old postcards about the Dicty Burn. I said, 
where do people come from with these ideas? So what we're trying to do is stimulate as many different projects as possible. Sarah, who's here tonight, has been doing a lot of the really pucker design stuff with, um, with the Facebook site and also newsletters, which you've got, and a really good website. So if you want to find out about the project, then um, those are available. We try and do odd things like making cups of tea to get people's ideas about the burn or doing uh, odd arty projects at some of the entrances to invite people in. Anything that reconnects people to their natural environment is what we're after doing. Um, and also some of the other projects that we're involved in the future are the way markers. We're producing a food for free book and a cultural heritage trail leaflet along the burn for people to, to explore the area in more detail as well. And also, what I want to finish with is a project that we're going to run on the 6th of April. There was a race course, a huge race course in Dundee at Long Core. It only ran for two years in the 1920s, but there was something like 20,000 people that went to it. We're going to have a re kind of hash on this uh, race course on the 6th of April this year. You've got 12th of April this year, sorry I've got some reminders here, and we're going to have drama, singing, Ladbrokes are going to be there doing some betting, um, we're going to have a palm reader and all these sorts of things as well. If you want more information, contact me. <laughs> oh, these are the hobby horses.